Hey, what's up everybody? This is Roger Miguel, Custom Paintings. Um, I'm going to try to show you the do's and don'ts when you put a finish on your baseboard. I know sometimes people say, oh, it's easy, just paint it and whoopty whoopty. Uh, actually, it isn't. Uh, I'm going to show you what you don't do, what you should do, and how you should uh, get a game plan before you do any type of paint, period. But this is the do's and don'ts. When you put a finish over a baseboard, you do not put a water-based latex finish over stain. It's not going to grab. It's not going to hold on. It's 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 not. The stain has the stain has some type of clear finish, and the, the water-based paint will not be able to fight through to hold on. So this is what we're kind of dealing with here. Uh, I guess another painting company came in and tried to finish it, but I guess the paint started peeling off and started bubbling up because they painted over stain. Um, again, you don't want to do that. Uh, again, you might want to sand, maybe clean it with some simple green, and maybe prime them so the, the water-based paint can't stick. Uh, the blue tape is very important. You want to put it down as clean as, as close as possible here so nothing bleeds through and nothing gets through on the floor. Uh, as you can see, this is a fresh finished floor. We don't want to get nothing on that. But again, I should have showed you guys this when I was putting it down, but I didn't, kind of in a rush. But this is how it should look, as close as possible. Give you the little 3D, but that's how it should look. I mean, they're just simple steps. I mean, you know, just don't paint over anything that you shouldn't paint over. Um, like I said in my last project, I paint, I paint and I primer in my kitchens and my bathrooms just because the oil, the hairspray, perfumes, all that stays on the walls and it lingers. So again, when you are dealing with something like this, uh, prime, sand, scrape, whatever needs to be done. So it's properly done and then you can put your finish on. Uh, just a simple little one, two, three project right here. Um, little steps just to help you guys out if you guys are doing some baseboard, maybe some finish, and they are stained. Again, just wipe them down. Uh, get get the pro proper primer. There's oil-based, there's water-based. There's a few different primers to put over stain. You know what I mean? If you don't know, ask questions. Any paint store, anybody in Home Depot, more than happy to help you out. But again, these are just kind of the do's and don'ts when you are painting the baseboard. Um, any questions, hit me up on my Facebook, my Instagram. I even have a work page on my Instagram. I mean, on my Facebook. So go ahead and hit me up. You guys have any questions? Show me pictures, leave me messages, and I'll return your calls and your questions as soon as possible. All right, thank you guys, and um, enjoy your Saturday. Thank you.